Jody Hand here. This is Hand Painted. And in the video I'm going to showcase today, I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial on how I engrave these guys, the carpenter pencils. I do have the file available for free on my website, mrshandpainted.com, and it includes a jig that holds 32 pencils and 16 different generic engraving sayings, as well as the personalized ones I did on the left hand side that you can swap out with any uh, font or wording that you want to do. But the jig is really helpful for lining up the pencils. And I did do that in the Glowforge size sheet so that some of you with the smaller lasers can do that as well. Um, so like I said, I have that file available for free at mrshandpainter.com and I'll link that in the description of this video as well. And I hope this is helpful for any of you doing a last minute Christmas gift or Father's Day gift in the future. Uh, let me know what you think and if you have any other fun things I should add, let me know. Hey guys, so I cut my pencil jig out of some scrap MDF I had and I put these magnets down on here before I start picking them up or you can do it while you're cutting so that it doesn't move when you go to take these out because you want the the slots to remain in the same spot so when you go to engrave it's all lined up. So I'm just using like this little weeding tool that I have on hand to help me get them out. Sometimes you can just press on the one side and the other side will pop up enough depending where it laid on your honeycomb. one of the corners and the other side pops up. You can use a little tool to pick it out. Some of them are coming out a little easier than others. Now please ignore this really filthy honeycomb bed. It's been a while since I've been able to power wash it because it's cold out. I've been cutting a lot of MDF lately. Okay, so now that that hasn't moved, you can put your pencils in there, It'll fit right in there, and then you can just line all those up and whip out a bunch of pencils all at once. And I just put one in there to start because I'm going to do my test engrave to see what settings I need to just remove enough of the paint and not go too deep into the pencil. All right, so in Lightburn here, you can toggle on and off things by going over here to your cut layer panel. And when I wanna go cut the jig, I'm gonna turn off the engrave layer. So then send that one to your laser, cut out your jig, and then you can hold it down with magnets or pins, however you want to, just to keep it from moving when you go to take out all of these rectangles. So then after you've cut the jig, and you've got all your pencils laid out, then you'll come back in here and you'll wanna turn off the cut layer and turn on your engrave layer. So then everything should still be in place. You have all your pencils in there. Refocus for the height of your pencils. Don't forget to do that. And I found for my 100 watt that I liked doing 300 speed at 20 power and I turned my air off. Um, so it's only on low air and not high. Uh, you'll want to do the test engrave just to see what your particular laser settings would need to be for that but that was what worked for my 100 watt Omtech. All right there they all are and to just do another batch just take all the pencils out and replace with the blank ones and don't move your jig and just start another round.